Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, very first episode of a new series on the channel which is called Ruma Asia. Um, this is a collaboration between uh, me and uh, the wonderful uh, leader. You might remember this name, yes that is the guy that made uh, the awesome uh, aquatic house in Veluwe Zoo. And um, yeah we were talking the other day and I had no clue uh, what I wanted to do with the new pack. Um, yeah because you know it's, it's a only an animal pack and for me as a creative builder yeah I, I wasn't really too excited for it i have to admit and uh, we were discussing the things that we were yeah able to build and he was like yeah we can also do uh, like a, a little collaboration project so yeah we uh, we started to do that uh, we actually started building on uh, on thursday before the release of the pack and we were like okay we are gonna finish this in uh, in the weekend and they will have a, a nice cinematic uh, video maybe or uh, yeah only a two video um but it started to get bigger and bigger and uh yeah we are gonna do a speed build series now and <laughs> that's basically uh, uh what we will do and we are going to add all the animals that are in the new pack we will build a habitat for them in this wonderful house of asia so ruma asia that's basically um yeah translated to uh, uh, the language of Malaysia and I'm gonna mispronounce it every time that I'm gonna say it so I'm already sorry about that so this uh, project uh, so the wonderful leader started building uh, the buildings that you can see in the back it's gonna be like a transition in between modern architecture and like the traditional architecture of Southeast Asia and as you can see we already have the beautiful buildings in the back you will have a little stop-motion video in the end of this video um in which you can see how these buildings were made it um yeah basically what we did is i had early access to the new pack so i was already able to start building with the new uh, update and with the new billboards so uh, and leader didn't have the early access so he just provided me with the blueprints for the first episode so he made some wonderful structures uh, right now you can only see the uh, the huts and the uh, yeah the main house but we will also have some really cool viewing towers on the back um but yeah you will all see that in the uh, in the end of the video so uh, he wasn't able to open the file of course because yeah when there's like a, a difference in between updates you can't open the file and i wasn't able to show him anything from the new pack so yeah we had to do it like this it was a bit of a struggle but uh, once this video is out he will be able to get the pack and then we are able to open the file and he can do whatever we want in this uh, in this project so in this video we are going to build the main structure uh, i have to admit i had to cut out a lot i think this building took me like 20 hours at least um i've been building all weekend all saturday all sunday just to get it the way i wanted to have it this building was based on a new building that is built in Poland. Um, I'm not going to pronounce the name. I, I probably forgot the name already. Actually, I did. Um, but it had a really cool like structure on the wall, which was made out of bamboo pieces. I, uh, I could make it out of bamboo pieces, but we wanted to give it our own twist. We are going to combine a lot of like different structures that we have seen, different kind of styles, and we will use it all around the building what i'm building right now is going to be like the main entrance towards the habitats that will be on the back so you will have like this little um passage which will contain the binturung uh, a new animal in the game which had a yeah a lot of fuss about it but we got a new design of it and i think a lot of people will be happy with it um so yeah this little uh, entrance area we will put the name on it we will uh, give it a nice uh, yeah like a little shadow twist we will change the colors and it will be a lot of these wood pieces instead of the bamboo that the reference image had and uh, maybe if you're from poland you might have already uh, seen this building maybe you will recognize it in the end let me know down in the comments if you can recognize it also don't forget make sure if you want to follow the entire series and you yeah you want to see how these things are built also make sure you are subscribed to leader his channel there will be a link down in the description if you haven't already because of the aquatic house of course um this series will continue i don't know for maybe a couple of weeks we want to yeah finish up this uh, this uh, project as soon as possible 
uh, maybe do a couple of videos um, probably like three or four as I'm guessing right now we want to add I think around eight animals and the animals are gonna be the new animals from the back of course and we will also do the Indian rhinos on the back uh, which is uh, exciting. Uh, the actual building in real life will have some Indian elephants. Yeah, I think they have. But a really cool... Um, I've seen it. It's like a, an underwater viewing for elephants. I've never seen anything like that. But uh, this building has that actually in real life. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's super exciting. I'm, I'm super excited about this project. I'm really happy with how this building turned out in the end. And uh, I really hope you guys will like it as well. So I'm uh, building a nice little wall on the inside. I already made like uh, uh, the top part of it. What was it called? The ceiling. But I will change that later on in the video. So I cut out a lot. So um, for example, right now I'm experimenting with these uh, with these wall pieces. And um, yeah, I'm just creating like the main structures. And basically all the copying and pasting, I cut that out. That's basically what I did. So first you will see me building a wall like this and uh, getting the ID in it. And then later on, all of a sudden you will have like the entire wall finished and um, because it has only been copying and pasting. So now I'm gonna do the ceiling that I was talking about. I already had the idea before I actually had uh, access to the pack and I wasn't able to do it. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna do it in a different way. Then I got the pack and um, what I want to do here is create like a, a ceiling with like LED panels in it or LED panels. And um, they, will have, they will have different shapes but they will be evenly lit all around. And we don't really have a piece like that in the game. We do have these new world square pieces but they are not evenly lit. So I was thinking, okay, what if I use the new... Uh, custom banners they are like uh, lit from behind if I just upload a completely wide image I can use it as a light so that's what we are doing right here you can see there was a little jump in time for example right here because it's only copying pasting that's it um, so yeah I'm turning them around I will upload the image which is uh, made in paint beautiful and it's just completely white as you can see it really gives you a nice effect and especially by night you will have a beautiful ceiling which has these LED panels in it and it re looks really, really cool. I think it's uh, a good example of what you can do with these uh, banner pieces. Um, we have uh, quite a lot of them. They have like uh, smaller ones and like 32 meter pieces. I don't know what people are going to do with it. I'm really looking forward to see what people can come up with. I've already seen people using them in Planko, for example, to create like an aquarium. If you put a little video on it. That has like fish running by and yeah, you can make an aquarium out of it. We might do something in this house. Um, if you have any cool like these for this house for example. Or like animals you yeah, you might want to see. Um, because we started with the idea of these eight animals. Um, but if we have some room left we are going to add for example the Chinese pangolin. Or maybe orangutans. Stuff like that. It has to be from Asia. Uh, not specifically Southeast Asia but... We do want to stick with like the, the tropical theme that we have uh, around this uh, around this building. So the wall pieces, I just created this cool little uh, wooden structure. I will make some um, yeah some some twists on it so it doesn't look the same all around the building. And um, yeah, there will be a little a restaurant area at the bottom over here. So this is why you will have this uh, this glass. Um, we will have these glass pieces all around the building basically which will uh, function as a um, like a viewing area but also uh, yeah like a, like a restaurant that we have uh, on this side so the uh, the inside of the building we didn't do anything on that yet that will be in the next video so this video will be also only be the uh, the actual building no habitats unfortunately um, yeah this project just became too massive to completely finished before the release of the pack but uh, we are gonna cover all the animals once we uh, once we get there um so the sun bear will be in there the proboscis monkey uh yuzuri doll i don't know i can't uh, remember all the names um from uh, all the, like the animals in the pack of course i was a little bit disappointed that there were no like completely new building pieces we only have a couple of statues that are new in the game um but that's it and um, yeah, which is uh, for me, it was a little bit disappointed. I would have been happy 
um, with like maybe a hundred new pieces, something like that. But people are always complaining. They never can <laughs> do it right, can they? Um, so yeah, I, I know a lot of people ask for more animals and that's what we got. So uh, I, I really hope people are uh, excited about uh, this. Here you can see I'm uh, creating like uh, some nice little, uh, yeah, some some different things. So a nice little planter in between and um, it, it it should look like they were like wooden shutters that would be able to open and close and that's the effect that I was uh, going for. Of course in real life they won't really be able to, to move them. Um, but that was the effect that I was trying to go for. And I think I um, I got it pretty much right. I, I, I think we, uh, we did a great job on the, for the first episode. We had a lot done in this one. Like the main structures on the back and like the main building. It's all finished. And uh, from now, it's, it's, it's basically just putting the animals in, creating the indoor habitats, creating the outdoor habitats. So all the animals will have a indoor area and the outdoor area. So for example, the sun bear will have a really nice and big um, open uh, habitat on the left side of the building. And then on the back, you will have the rhinos. We have the proboscis monkey on the inside, the winter room on the inside. And th there's a lot going on and I'm I really have it in mind on, on how we're gonna do it and I think it will uh, it will work out really really well in the end you will see some cinematics of course it wouldn't be a Zoofluencer video if you didn't have cinematics uh, but that will be in the end of the video and I yeah you can already see the vibe that we were going for with like the tropical foliage um, yeah people who have been following me know that I'm a big fan of the tropical foliage we use it a lot in Monkey Island we use it a lot in Zeusly and uh, I'm really happy to be back in like this kind of tropical, um, yeah, uh, environment and use this foliage again. So I'm, uh, I'm really excited about uh, about this one. Um, so yeah, this uh, this project. Um, why did we do this? Well, I already tried to explain it in the in the beginning, um, but I didn't want to start like a big project just because of this DLC. I didn't want to rush into that. And that's also why one of the reasons why we yeah, wanted to do like a one-off build. So only for this pack. And I, I think that's refreshing as well. Because then you can really move on. Like after a couple of weeks when this is finished. It's like okay. This one is done. We can start something new. And for example if you're going to start something big like Bilibazoo. It will just continue for like a year. So yeah. I, I think it's refreshing to do little projects uh, like this. And it's good to have a DLC with 8 animals. Because then it will be... Uh, kind of a bigger project because with the previous packs I didn't really feel like doing a one-off build or whatever because it was too small to actually start something like this but with eight animals I think we are on a good track and hopefully uh, with the next pack we can see more animals and some building pieces please uh, <laughs> but the uh, the next wall is gonna be completely different you will have this black concrete on the back and you will have this really uh, cool structure on it I really like the look of it and it's like a huge contrast between the wood and these uh, black concrete pieces and uh, but it looks really really good in the end and uh, you will see a little jump in time in, in a few seconds i think and you will see i've basically finished off the entire wall structure all around the uh, all around the building but i really didn't really like the shape of it and uh, what i really like about this collaboration is that me and leader are just like constantly uh, checking up with each other like do you like this yes no uh, what can i do else uh, what should i improve and uh, yeah he suggests us to yeah, make um, the wall structure a little bit different so put a corner in here so like a 15 degrees angle and um so that's what i'm doing uh, right now um of course there was a little jump in time that i already finished the entire structure and um but i'm, I'm redoing it why not uh, <laughs> um yeah, but what, what else are we gonna do? We are gonna delete all these wooden pieces again. Uh, we will do... Yeah, the, this wall. I will move it again. Again with this 15 degrees on it. You can see the, the shape that I was uh, I was going for. Of course, I cut out like the entire right part. That's basically uh, the same thing. It is a little bit smaller. It has a bit of a different shape on it. But I did cut it out for this, uh, for this video. And um, another thing that I was... Uh, yeah, I've been building is instead of the shutters that we have on the front, we are going to do uh, vertical ones. 
on the back of the building which will look really cool as well so you will really have like a, a different kind of building all around the place and i really like that about this building because it's so huge and it was kind of boring to have like the same thing going on uh, all around it and uh, yeah so we uh, yeah we gave it a little twist here and there you will still have these uh, black walls also on the right side and uh, we will also make a really cool roof structure in this uh, in this video so i'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the speed build uh, again there will be a really cool um what's it called a uh, stop motion video uh, made by leader in this in the end of this video you will see how the uh, the nice classical uh, Malaysian structures are built that are in the back right now. Um, that will take like a minute, one or one and a half, something like that. Then we have a nice cinematic overview of the entire build. And uh, for the rest of the video, I'm just going to start on this um, on this roof structure. And that will be it for this first episode. So I really hope you guys are excited about this. If you are, make sure to hit the like button. And if you didn't do it already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on anything new. And uh, I'm going to speak to you guys in the next one. Goodbye.